Guys, tell me about 2020. I know you did, you know, um, some single quintas, but also declared a few special ones like we're tasting. So like, how, how did it go down and how did it compare to the last declared year? First and foremost, I mean, basically, as you, as you know, war, war and Bren have important sort of commemorative years in 2020. Unfortunately, in 2020, we are unable to celebrate celebrate the anniversaries and, and now so this is this has been our sort of opportunity to um to you know let people know that war is now 350 years old and, and Graham 200 years old and with the grand um with the grand um with the grand the bicentenary on the one hand and, and on the other hand it's also 50 years since we since we um, acquired grand so that that also for us is a landmark so we acquired Grand in 1970, and um, so you know a lot, uh, an important, uh, important landmarks. And uh, you know, War is is actually the oldest registered company in Portugal. So it is in quite a, an impressive age. Talking about the year um, 2020, we had um, we had useful rain in winter, um, which later was really what saved us. Um, we had. Uh, throughout throughout the winter, quite warm temperatures as well, with with a lot of with quite a lot of water, and um, and then March and April were also fairly wet, um, and we had you know bud burst was a two to three weeks early, the very very early bud burst um, around the third of March at Bob Uh We then had uh, an early flowering at the beginning of May, um, and and conditions basically from May onwards. Uh, changed and we had uh, very dry weather through May, June, July, um, and and into August. So I mean we, we had well below average rainfall um, during that period, and um, and a particularly hot period of weather um, in July between the fourth of July and the eleventh of August in the Dura, we had over thirty five degrees C max. Um, every day or, or over a month. Um, the temperatures didn't really go above 40, but the, it was consistently hot for, for over a month. Then fortunately, um, as, um, as the cycle was continued advanced, we had a braise on about 10 days early. Um, so fortunately, we actually had a bit of rain in August on the 17th of August, which is unusual and quite early. But actually fitted in very well in terms of the cycle, um, and that was actually useful rain. We had about 15 millimeters, um, and it was totally unforeseen. It uh, there was nothing in the forecast 24 hours before it happened, so it was um, it was all good news. And I remember that well because um, we were all taken a little a little bit by surprise. But anyway, it allowed us to um, to get through the final stages of maturation. Um, quite nicely and start the vintage sort of two weeks on from that um, right at the beginning of September um, mm-hmm. and with the game we had you know pretty hot weather throughout the beginning of September and throughout most of the month of September um, well no, the rest of the month actually from about the 10th onwards it was um, it, the temperatures are pretty reasonable actually nothing too nothing too serious and we had no rain at all um, throughout the vintage itself um, so we had a you know, very ripe year, um, a lot of concentration due to the, the heat we'd had and the lack of rainfall from May um, through to the vintage. And so you, you, did, you did declare Graman Wars, then Dow single Quinta. I mean, did you make Vesuvio? You always make Vesuvio, right? Well, unfortunately, with COVID, we were unable to tread Lagash because we couldn't do that with social distancing. Yeah. So unfortunately, not having had the opportunity, probably I think the first time ever in the history of Zulu, the winery didn't open the vintage. Oh my gosh, um, so you didn't have enough people to tread the Lagars then? It was, it was the COVID restrictions that allowed, uh, that, that meant that we couldn't, we couldn't uh, tread. The winery was built in 1827. So it's the first time since then 
that uh, there was no foot treading in, in the Sulu. And, you know, I find it extraordinary, you know, through world wars and all the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, the thing that stopped the foot treading of the Sulu was, is COVID. So we, we didn't foot tread in 2020 and we didn't foot tread in, in 2021. So staying true to the tradition of producing the vintage port with, um, in, you, by the traditional method. So you had to use the, um, the method you have at, at Malvedos and Baumfein and uh, how that's really fascinating. And how, would, how did it compare to 19? Oh, I think, you know, I, I think the wines from, from 20 are, are definitely superior. I mean, you know, they're, okay. they're not they, they should, we're talking, you know, 2,400 bottles of this Venus Vegas from Moore. Um, it's the first wow. time Venus Vegas release. Um, so we made it exclusively from the Venus Vegas at uh, Cavadinia and at Bon Um, You know, vineyards which produce about 1,000 kilos um, per, per hectare. And there's, you know, seven, seven hectolitres per hectare of this vineyard produced. Tiny, tiny. Did you have to select as well because you had some, a lot of raising, so it reduced the yields as well, like it, at least what you were making? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got some amazing de-stalkers now that um, actually when they de-stalk, they, they leave the raisins on, 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 the, um, on the stalks. So that, that works really well. Uh, and obviously, you know, if, if things, bunches that are more raisins stay in the vineyard, they don't even get to the winery. But um, in, a, in a way, it was an extraordinary year because the quantities were tiny, but um, some of the wines are really something quite exceptional. And so, and so we decided to do something exceptional to mark the importance of the year. Yeah. Graham was 200th anniversary in, in, in 2020, and Wars is 350th anniversary in 2020. And I hope that you'll, you'll, you'll understand why when you taste the wine. That we decided yeah, yeah. to put a small amount in bottle and, and do a very, very small release. Um, because it was a seem recordable year, and the quality was concentrated around our quintas in, in that area. Yeah. We decided to bottle uh, a small amount of Bonfine. So these are the three wines that we've done an uh, release with. Uh, okay. And none of the others. So it's a, a little bit of a mixed bag. It's not a classic vintage court year. It's, it's a year in which we did something, you know, exceptional to my-